What's up, fight fans? This is Anna here to do another boxing analysis. I cannot believe what just happened. This is Victor Ortiz just dominated. I mean, dominate Andre Berto. I mean, the combinations he was throwing, you know, that right hook to the body and the left, you know what I'm saying, straight to the face. I mean, the chin. It was just an amazing night of boxing. Um, the the way Andre Berto knocked him down too a couple times it was it was just amazing these these two good hitters these two warriors in the ring and they was going toe to toe uh, I, I take nothing away from Andre Berto I just feel like in my eyes everybody said they wanted to see him face Pacquiao Pacquiao would have demolished Andre Berto if this was the Andre Berto stepped in the ring with Pacquiao Victor Ortiz has so much just man the, the, the power the speed, the way he throws his punches in combination, um, the way his corner was talking to him, telling the right, you know, combination to throw in the rounds, and, you know, just telling him, just keep on going forward, keep putting the pressure, keep putting the pressure. They'll let you know that the, 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 the Mexican style of boxing, when you put the pressure on them, like the traditional style, and you throw a lot of combinations with short punches through the body, into the head, um, it, it, it damn near works. Every time, no matter if you're a boxer, a boxer, puncher, a fighter, whatever you are, that works. You know, and body work wears a person down. That's what people don't understand. Andre Berto, that, that was the top notch Andre Berto. They say he was in the best shape possible. You know what I'm saying? So there's no excuses. There's no excuses at all. And I just feel everybody should give Victor Ortiz his credit. I mean, people do not give this man his credit. And you need to give him his credit today, to, to like now. You know, he, which I, he deserves it. Fuck the whole Madonna situation. He barely, he didn't even get knocked the fuck out. What people don't understand. But but anyway, see, he, he, that's all in the past. Just like American, they say his Breeders Prescott is in the past. Well, the same thing goes with uh, the Madonna and uh, Ortiz fight. Ortiz put in the past. He knocked out an undefeated. You know, Andre Burrow has been looked at as one of the top upper echelon uh, A A plus boxers. Of this era, and he just demolished the number one contender, probably to face many next. So I'm pretty sure he's in that contention now. Even Freddie Roach and Manny Pacquiao both said that you probably have more speed than him, and we're giving you a lot of praise for the fight. We think that you can do a very good job in the fight, and uh, I think that really gave Victor Ortiz a lot of confidence. You know, he wasn't scared. That's what, that's the main thing of boxing that people need to understand. If you're not scared of the person, and you got that dog eat dog mentality, like. I don't care. I'm a fucking maniac. I'm going straight at you, but I'm coming at you with controlled anger. You, your, your boxing skill that you already have and your focus is gonna be there. Something serious, so you have no choice but to win. Like, like in your brain, you just you can tell Victor T from round one when the first second came. But even when he came into the round, I knew he was focused more than ever. Like they say, the boxing critics, the boxing fan, everybody brought the beast out of him saying. That he couldn't do it or he couldn't do this. Cause I always knew Victor could do it. I never ever, you know, once said, oh, he's not this, oh, he's not that, or oh, he's whack. I knew Victor Ortiz could get the job done. Now, you guys tell me what to think about this fight. It was some great knockdowns in round one, round two. I think there was knockdown in round four and five. It was just a beautiful fight, even though Victor Ortiz, from for real, not round seven or up, dominated. The whole rest of the fight, whole second half of the fight. Andre Berto even said, man, this is a hard loss. He's going to have to come back to the drawing board and uh, I guess get like a tune-up fight or something and then see if he can uh, get the rematch. I would love to see a rematch. Saul Paul versus Orthodox. You got uh, American uh, Haitian guy versus American Mexicano. I mean, uh, what more can you ask for tonight? Be beautiful night of boxing. Mirkan, by the way, did a wonderful job. Who's next for him? Who is next one? Should he move up to 147? Because it seems like at 140, he just does so much. Like, it's, it's too easy for him. He's having fun in there, amateur boxing. I mean, his speed is so much. He's just doing this. He's doing this. Just get it in. Just. That's all he do all day. You know, and I have I take nothing away from him. If you, if you can get the job done like that, continue to do it. Like, like that's amazing that you can do something like that, you know, with a, a top not to box, but even American sounded cocky when he's telling the truth. Paul McCloskey was not ready for American speed. Even if it would have went the second half of the fight, what more could McCloskey do except try to land a counter right or a counter left hand? 
Um, I really feel that McCloskey, if he wanted to, he had to be more aggressive, you know, be more in an Irish, probably the Irish style. He had so many of your fans there, and it just seemed like you let them down. You let Khan just do what he wanted to. He dictated, you know. He was American Khan. He, I mean, he really did his thing. He had a great jab. He was doubling up on it. Um, he had pretty good hand movement. He wasn't getting hit with nothing that rocked him, for real. And McCloskey did not focus through the body. When you don't focus through the body on, on somebody who is as speedy and muy, 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 muy rapido, muy fuerte, like, like, American, you, you, you are asking to get beat. You're asking to get beat. So, all I'm saying is McCloskey go back to the drawing board. You got a loss on your record. It is what it is. You know, it's not the fight because the cut, the cut wasn't that bad. I think it was a bitch move on a referee and the, and the doctor's part, but hey, who am I? I'm, I'm, I'm just a boxing fan and a boxer, my, my fellow boxer myself, who, you know, was enjoying the fight, you know. So, anyway, you guys tell me what you think about this fight. Who should American face next? I personally think he should move up and wait, but if he wants to face and unify the, the titles, face, you know, the Lucas Matisse, the Timothy Bradley. First, face Timothy Bradley. In July 23rd, I mean, that's the official date. I, I pretty much heard from you know Max Kellerman, I mean uh, Jim Lampley and Emmanuel Stewart. So July 23rd, Timothy Bradley, American. Do not miss it. That's gonna be a big, big fight. Headbutt, headbutting uh, Timothy Bradley. You gotta watch out. Even though he has skill and power and everything else, footwork, man, that headbutt. But anyway, great night of boxing. Like I said, you had American dominating for six or seven rounds. Something like that. And then you got Big Ortiz showing the whole world that he is legit. He's a Midwest boxer, too, just to let you guys know. Midwest. What, what, what you guys don't understand, he's from Garden City, Kansas. He boxes out of Bueno uh, Ventera, uh, California, or whatever. And they're, you know, in their group of boxers. So, you know, he represents them. But he's originally from Garden City, Kansas, just like, um, uh, what's his name? Brandon Rios. That box out of Oxnard with Robert Garcia. So, like I said, great night of boxing. You guys tell me what you think. And um, who should be Victor face next? Uh, Manny Pacquiao. Should he face Mike Jones? Mike Jones is a very good boxer. Should he face, um, I mean, there's a couple other boxers he can face on 147. You guys tell me what you think. And uh, this is Ant reporting.